Judy is, of course, our environment correspondent, so quite right she should talk about biodiversity. Also, our transport correspondent, but I didn't see her on a ride on lawnmower at any point during the day today, but she obviously found that a labour of love. Kay's here as well, as you already know. You've got the weather. Have you seen lots to take your fancy today here? It's been Awful. great. Awful. I spent, in my head, quite a few hundred pounds today, Roger. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> Spend it in your head, in not your head. on your card. Thankfully, right, Jim you do the weather. <laughs> I will do. Judy's probably on that plane as we speak. The weather, beautiful. Thankfully, it's felt a bit like summer. Today, very cloud, sunny spells. It'll be like that again tomorrow. The weekend, I'm afraid, that is what is looking unsettled. So more on that in a minute. Now, through this evening, a fine end of the day for most of us. A bit of a breeze in the air, but out of the breeze, felt really quite pleasant. We got to 19 degrees today, and it's going to stay dry as we head overnight tonight with an awful lot of clear skies. So I think we'll probably get lowest temperatures about 7 degrees, especially across more northern parts. That does just mean that tomorrow morning there's going to be a bit of a nip in the air. Could be a little bit of early mist, but that'll soon clear. Now, tomorrow, variable cloud, decent spells of sunshine. Many of us will stay dry, but there are some showers in the forecast. A couple of them could be sharp especially for Cumbria and Lancashire, but they will tend to clear as we head through the day. And again, the breeze will be quite fresh, picking up from the northwest, but out of the breeze, in the sunshine, about 19 degrees, technically still below average for the time of year. Now, the bigger picture, as we go through into Friday, low pressure starts to build in from the west. So a lot of dry weather during the day on Friday, but cloud increases. It's the weekend. That low pressure is really going to kick in. Some heavy spells of rain for Saturday. The winds will strengthen as well. So looking a bit more in detail for Friday, we are going to have a fair amount of cloud out and about. It could be thick enough to produce a few outbreaks of rain, but for many of us during the day, it should be dry. But for Cumbria and Lancashire later, we are likely to see that rain starting to push in. Again, temperatures probably really only about 17 degrees for Friday, so a good three or four below where we should be for this time of year. Into Saturday, heavy spells of rain are expected. Now, there'll be pulses of heavy rain throughout the day. The winds will strengthen as well. Equally, there will be some spots where it starts to dry off, it'll ease down for a bit, but it's going to be quite a cloudy day, it's going to be a cool feeling day. It certainly doesn't feel like summer, with a high of about 17 or 18 degrees. The wind strength, though, will really put a dampener on that. Sunday, the heaviest rain at the minute looks to be for Cumbria and for Lancashire. Elsewhere, showers that could be quite sharp, the risk of hail and thunder. There's so many sporting things happening this weekend. Please do keep an eye on the forecast. I'll keep you right up to date. Like I said, no warnings in force, but it is unsettled. Until then, enjoy the sunshine tomorrow where you get it. I, for one, have been like this all day today. Top Roger. Topping it right, says you. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's been late on this bench. Yeah, I've chilled off, out off. all day. I've just been reading some statistics about the about the show. Yeah, it takes three weeks to put up, ten ten days to take down. They reckon 30, almost fourteen thousand glasses of Pims will be drunk here I've during not the had week. What? Nor have I. Uh, in fact, I had to get some water and drink stuff. it out of my hands. <laughs> it's just it's a low life. We keep it real, Robert. but it's. I mean, it is really. I mean, it's wonderful, and it, all the stuff that you can put in. I mean, my garden looks a bit like that, but it isn't beautiful plants, it's just weeds. It's and so thought out, and this has taken weeks and weeks. But do you know the best thing about this garden? Go on. Is that um, Lee wanted to create it so that it could leave in the most minimal way possible, so yeah. without any skips or anything like that. Lee so, Burke killed the garden ninja. Who garden helped. ninja, the okay. legend. Thank you very much, Kay. You're welcome. Thank you to you for watching. Whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of the evening sunshine. Thank you for watching. Good night.